today I want to talk about time management because especially when it comes to uh, living your life effectively you know if you want to be fruitful and fulfilled in life time how you manage your activities under time is essential obviously you and I we cannot control time we cannot contain time but what we can do is that we can utilize time in a best way that favors us we can utilize time in in fulfilling God's agenda for our lives that is why God has given us a priority in life our first priority in life it's him because everything else comes secondary but most times we invest our time our energy our resources our effort on secondary things it's, it's like we major in the minor rather than we should minor in the minor and major in the major so we have to major in the primary things in life and the the first priority that 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 God has given us is to seek him first his kingdom and his righteousness that's the a priority um so that way when you know your first priority which is him you're able to 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 manage your time wisely you're able to capitalize on on using your time effectively so for instance when you need to utilize your time when it comes to what is the will of God for your life and when you identify and discover God's will for your life his plan and purpose for your life you will invest your time in pursuing it and um so that's the that's the a priority meaning that every day when you wake up god is your top priority you want to make sure that you invest your time your efforts your resources on him and then that way you're able to utilize time in an effective manner people usually think that they have the entire time to to live their life you see the older you become the closer you are to your grave there's a time frame there's a time limit on your existence in this world so that is why it's essential for you to 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 be able to manage your time effectively use it wisely how do you go about it priority priority and god has given us uh, a priority system which is obviously him and the things of him what do i mean by our first priority should be him meaning that we should seek him as a person spending time in his presence spending time praying spending time reading his word to get to know him and also living out the things that you and I we have learned about him the things that we have heard from him and also the things of god I meaning what do i mean by the things of god the service of god the mandate of god you know fulfilling your destiny for humanity you know your calling you know for the for the body of christ so that that should be your a priority when you discover your a priority which is god himself and the things of god then you will invest your time in it you will give your attention in it you will give your focus in it and then now there comes in the b priorities the b priorities has to do with your personal life your day to day life under the sun even when it comes to managing our time for our personal life most people don't know how to go about it i've come to know in life that we as human beings we wear many hats we wear many hats meaning that we have so many responsibilities for example a man can be a professional worker a man can be a husband can be a father meaning that he has to take care of his family he has a life at home he has a life at the workplace he, ha- he also has a life in church so now how do you manage your time effectively to 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 be able to function well when you are at work 
you do what you have to do at work. Because the Bible said, whatever your hand finds to do, do with all your might, right? So when you're at work, knowing that you have a time to go to work. When you go to work, don't do anything that has no work related, you know, do it. If it's work related, do it. If it's going to help you to grow, do it. If it's going to help the company that you're working for, focus that particular time that you have for work related matters because you are in that sphere and that should, that, that is where your focus should be. When you are, let's say at home in your family, there's a time to spend with your family. Let the focus, let it be on your family. Don't let it be on nothing else. Let's say when it's time for you to be in your community, to participate in community activities, to make an impact in your community, let that investment of your time be solely on your community. Now, let's say there's a time period where you have to be in church, you have to, you have to serve. Let that particular time period be slowly on serving. That way you're not distracted. For instance, when I wake up every morning, God has helped me to discover my priorities in life, to know my strengths and my weaknesses, to know where I'm going. So when I wake up, my top, my top A priority is obviously God, you know, meaning that I wake up, I want to be in the presence of God. And then from being in the presence of God, with the help of God, I will acknowledge God to guide me how to go about living my life a day at a time. And then after being in the presence of God, obviously I will study the word trying to know God. And then after that, based on my personal life, let's say for example, I have, I have to go to work or I have to do a business or I have to do ministry. I will do things towards my purpose in life. I will do things towards my responsibilities in life. Each and every day, you understand? But most times people want to live your life in the future. Start living your life now because success comes series by series. How do you utilize your time a day at a time? That's where most people fail to achieve in life because they think that success is, is, is an event. No, success is a daily practice. And if you want to be successful, you have to utilize your time each and every day. You invest your time based on, you invest your time on your purpose. You invest your time on your responsibilities in life. You use your time towards anything that will advance you to your purpose. You invest your time in anything or in anyone that you know that they are going to add to your life. They are going to propel you to your destiny. They are going to propel you to your purpose. They are going to push you towards your pursuit of God. For instance, for me, each and every day, I want to invest my time in the pursuit of God. I want to invest my time in, 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 in my purpose. I want to invest my time in my professional life. I want to invest my time in my family life. And, and I also, sometimes I invest my time in developing myself. Most people don't, don't spend time to develop themselves. That is key. Development is preparation for your purpose. Development is preparation for your destiny. Development is preparation for success in life. Development is preparation for that position. So you have to develop yourself spiritually for God's plan and purpose for your life, for God's promise for your life. You have to develop yourself professionally for your workplace. You have to upgrade in order for you to utilize your time on a daily basis effectively because your time is life your time is life how you use your time will determine how far you will go in life it will determine your achievement don't give your time to people who are not going to push you towards god don't give your time to people who are not going to add value to your life don't give your time to people who are not in line with your purpose in life don't give your life your time to people who don't seek your interest your development because what is the point of you wasting your life? Wasting your time is wasting your life. Give your time to people who are going to push you towards God, who are going to push you towards your destiny.
And also I've come to learn that not every opportunity is for you. Not every activity you have to engage in. You, you have to be selective. Um, ask yourself, is this opportunity in line with the plan of God for your life? Is this opportunity in line with God's purpose for your life? Is this opportunity in line with your potential and passion? Same applies to if you want to spend time to engage on on any activity, ask yourself, is this activity in line with God's plan for your life? Is this activity in line with God's purpose for your life? Is this activity in line uh, with your passion in life? Is this activity in line with your potential in life? Just to conclude, use and invest your time on God's plan and purpose for your life. Use and invest your time on your passion and potential in life that is in line with God's will. Most people want to live your life in the future. Start living your life now. Do the things that are in line with God's plan and purpose for your life. Do the things that you are passionate about, that you have the potential in, as long as they are in line with God's will engage in them give, give your time to them on a daily basis and also prioritize your life according to the a list the b list the c list let god be the first on your a list that's all i can say i cannot tell you what can be on your b list i cannot tell you what can be on your c list i cannot tell you what can be on your d list on your d list but what I can tell you, what can be on your A-list, God has to be on your A-list. Meaning that God has to take the first place. You cannot put God on the B-list. You cannot put God on the C-list. You cannot put God on the D-list. God has to be on the A-list. When God is on the A-list and everything else, God will work with you. But if you put God on the B-list, on the D-list, on the C-list, you're going you're gonna to struggle to make it in life you're going to struggle to achieve in life because jesus said without him you can do nothing in order for you to be fruitful you have to abide in god in order for you to abide in god you have to acknowledge and include god on your a list on your top priority every day